and welcome back to Let's Play Doom No Rest for the Living. This is it. This is the Tomb of Malevolence. So I adjust myself in my chair. Um, yeah, there's not much more to be said. Let's just have at it. This is the culmination of, what is it, six months roughly that I've been playing this worth of butthurt. Um, this level is basically about a zillion imps and the boss. Um, it really doesn't... S oh, something's moving. What's behind it? Oh, a switch. With some health. I am not going to say no to health or a plasma gun. And a computer map. Okay, well what's on this side then? Do we have a... No, we don't have a similar thing over there. I don't know quite... Huh. Quite what to expect. Now apparently there is nothing on this other side. Okay, well. Now, oh, in we go I suppose. Now I have briefly looked at this map before, I know what's in here. Um, I haven't finished it, in fact I had given up hope of finishing it when I first looked at it. Uh, we're going to quick save. Rockets for this first bit. Yep, you heard it, the boss is the cyber demon as advertised. Yeah, we're off to a shitty start. We're just going to suicide there. Pick up from our quick save. And we shall... Hopefully relying on monsters being infinitely high to take some of them out. Oh boy. We haven't even seen the Cyber Demon yet. Now there is a, a light visor down here. Oh, there's a side beam. Terrible shot, I don't know what I was thinking with that. Well, hello Cyber Demon. Goodbye Cyber Demon. Now there are a number of these switches throughout the level. I'm just going to switch to my plasma gun. Over here, there's another switch. Crap, 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 crap. Yep, that works. That works nicely. Because our friend can't quite hit me with his rockets. He can still see me to target me, but he can't hit me. Which is pretty much uh, a win-win for me. At least until he realizes that there are stairs. Then I'm fucked. I don't really see the challenge of this level as killing the cyber demon so much as just not dying while we find the exit. It would seem, however, that I've hit an impasse. But we've turned lights on, that's a thing. Whoa, that was too close for comfort. Um, hmm. I'm not quite sure where to go next. Map. Is of little use. Oh well, he took care of that imp for me. He's over there, we're going to go this way. Ah, there's a switch. Where is he? He's over there. Let's get back up here. Okay, that's dropped and released a whole thing. Quick saving again. Coward, I know. I am unashamed of my cowardice at this point. There's a teleporter. Which took me back here. Ah. Oh. Okay, well, we beat the level. Trouble was brewing again in your favorite vacation spot, Hell. Some cyber demon punk thought he could turn Hell into a personal amusement park and make Earth the ticket booth. Well, that half robot freak show didn't know who was coming to the fair. There's nothing like a shooting gallery full of Hellspawn to get the blood pumping. I really should just let this go and then read it. 
Now the walls of the demon's labyrinth echo with the sound of his metallic limbs hitting the floor. His death moan gurgles out through the mess he left of his face. This ride is closed. Very cute. What do we get after that? Oh, of course. Well, I say, we go back and we kill him. Yeah, let's hear it for more killing. Yeah, Captain Planets is right. Of course, the challenge here is we don't have a BFG. Whoa. Ouch. My everything hurts after that. There's some health, not that we'll su survive another hit. There's some more health. Again, not really going to make much difference. It's more just a matter of which scream we'll utter if he hits us with another rocket. Is all that our current hit points will really determine. Pain state, pain state, pain state, nope. Goodbye. Yeah, that wasn't going to end well. I don't think this area with a plasma gun is really the ideal arena for the Cyberdemon, and I'm pretty sure that's what the map is aimed at anyway, is avoiding the combat so much. If you actually had to kill him here, that would be a whole different kind of brutal, I think. Oh boy. Rockets. Now I don't know if I've mentioned this in a previous Let's Play, um, but Cyberdemons are immune to splash damage from rockets. You ha can only hurt them with a direct hit from a rocket. Oh boy. Oh, we hadn't quick saved. Ah! Oh my god, what happened there? Yeah. Oh, of course I hit a third key, didn't I? You can only use two keys at a time with this wonderful keyboard three keys, but we can't... What the hell? We must have gotten a shot off. Okay, ah, scratchy. Ah, itchy forehead. Scratchy. Jesus. Come here. This isn't getting tedious at all. Almost like playing Eye of the Beholder. It's kind of dancing around in the square. Seven rounds. Can we do it? No. Damn it. Oh, I think we might just have to give up. Keep going until we hit 20 minutes, and if we can't do it by the 20 minute mark, then we'll call it. Helps if I don't take rockets in the face. Okay, that's our pro tip for the day. Going to quick save those few hits that we did land. <laughs> oh, we didn't even scream, we just crackled and sizzled, and oh boy, we were a barbecue. Love it. Wow, such a waste of ammo. Well... Crap. Was that a gamble and a half? Holy shit! Quick saving in here because again we nailed some hits. We got some more. Holy shit, we got him. 
Now I can hear some imps. Let's go imp hunting. We're gonna quick save. We're gonna find that last bit of health. And we're gonna clear this sucker. Right. I've looked every. Oh! There's a switch. I'm willing to bet there are a couple of imps back here. Come on. It's strangely quiet now. Fuck you! Are you serious? Fuck you, game! That whole game! And there's where we get a backpack. Fucking six months of butthurt and ammo starvation, and that's where the backpack is. Ah, oh, one last troll. I love it. Okay, where's... Okay, well, there's a switch over here. This will have some imps. Let's pick up all these rockets and all, all this ammo, because now we can. Oh, boy. You can't be angry at that. You just can't. To be honest, I kind of expected more imps. Let me just turn up my volume, see if I can hear anything else. No, it doesn't look like there is anything left to be heard. Okay, well, let's see if we cleared them all. Indeed we have. Well, that being the case, we've done it folks. We have finished No Rest for the Living, finally. Um, that was actually really enjoyable, um, in the, I suppose, people who, I'm not one of them, but people who play Dark Souls a lot, um, you know, it, it screws you until you like it. Um, it's one of those games, it's really brutal, it's, it feels more like, more like Doom than Doom 3 did, not that that's difficult, certainly more like Doom than a lot of the, the custom levels out there do. Uh, but that's what I'm moving on to from here, is a showcase of sorts of random Doom levels. Most of them I'm going to pick from um, from Doom World, so that if you like them you can go and play them yourself. Um, I've also got a collection of, of cover discs from back when you know, Doom was still a thing, and PC Gamer produced cover discs, um, and PC format to be fair. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to go through the archives and pick pick some, they're not all going to be good, they're going to be blind playthroughs for, for whatever they are, um, and yeah, we'll, we'll see them as we go along. Until then, this has been Doom 2, no rest for the living, um, thank you for watching, I hope you've enjoyed it, and until we play some more Doom, cheers!